Here's that transmission leak right where the clamp is. All right, pop this little clamp here off, separate it, and that's what was holding all the water. And that's what right it out the line. Look at that. See that? Look at the crud that's still in there. All right? There is the line right there. So, change it. One goes all the way up towards the radiator. One goes across under the radiator support and goes up towards the cooler, which is in the front. So that means either the grill has to come out or the bumper has to come out. All right, folks. This is a 2013 Suburban. I'm gonna change the transmission cooler lines. I'm gonna show you where the, uh, the rod is. Right there. Alright, so the line, like I said, one goes towards the front by the grill because this has got heavy duty cooling. The other one has a little clamp there, makes a turn, and it's on the side of the radiator. The two lines run across over the K frame, over the rack and pinion, comes out towards the oil pan over here. You can see it was still leaking and dripping, dragging all the way back. There's a clip over there above the rear end that you have to disconnect. The two lines are holding it. Okay, show you. See, I can show you. Poke it in here, right there. Those two little clips right there. Got two. Got uh, a clip over here, a plastic clip here. It makes the turn, and it connects to the driver's side of the transmission, right up there. All right, make sure it's nice and cool. Otherwise, it's gonna burn your hands. Okay, because the cat is right there. This is the drive shaft. So, this one-piece line runs right across. Hardest part is probably trying to thread it right through there, through the tunnel, up over the rear, out through the other side, trying to get it in one piece without lifting the motor or dropping anything down. I'm gonna try it. All right. I mean, the old one is easy. If you want, you could just cut it right off. Chop it here, chop it there, drag the whole freaking thing out call it a day. Hardest part is going to be piping the new one in. That's it. All right. So this one here goes up around and by the radiator. You got to see where that connects to. And this one here, like I said, that one goes to the bumper right by the grill. So that means this bumper is going to have to come off. All right. Let's see what we All right. All right. We're going to start on this job right now. As you know, it's going to be a really, really messy job. So if you notice, what I did was I took a pair of diagonal cutters and I pinched a couple places in the line so that if there is fluid in there, I'm not going to be wearing it. So I pinched it there and I pinched it here on this side. A couple pinches here and there because this is where I want to cut the line. Right, I'm not going to take it off as one piece. Doesn't make sense. I'm going to cut it right here. Cut it right here. Okay, I'm gonna cut it back here probably. But I'm gonna try to pull it out as one piece so I get an idea what, what the back part is. But up here on the transmission right there, the 13 millimeter bolt, the nice long bolt. There she is. Once you take that out, it's gonna make a mess, like I said. Transmission fluid all over the place. So make sure you have your cardboard all over the ground. Over here, we're gonna pop this out, okay? without trying to wear it. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm wearing it now. now. It's not gonna come straight out because you got this uh, dry shaft here. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to twist it a little bit. In the downward area. And it should come out. There it is. All right, so we got this part out of it. Stop it from bleeding, otherwise you're gonna be wearing it. Same thing up there. All right, now we're gonna to try to get the other pieces out. Once you pop it down and you pull it down a little bit, you get a little clearer view of where you're gonna be. Take this rag out of here. All right, so you got a little room there back there. Got a little wiggle room here. And you got the wiggle room up here. So once I cut this, this line should come out easy, okay? But to put it in, 
because this line is flexible with the curves and stuff, it's gonna be a little rough. All right, so I'm gonna cut this line, I'm gonna pull it through the other side. I'm gonna get, get this old one out. All right, there you go, we slice the line. A little transmission fluid trickling out. See, when you pinch the line, not much comes out, but everything comes pouring out over here. All right, so into the can. Let that finish dripping, pull this line up. All right, so back on this side here. Let's see, if you think you're not gonna be wearing transmission fluid, then you're lying to yourself. All right, so here we are here. Put a little rag on this side. I'm gonna pull it through, up and over. Gonna get a little bit, because you gotta go by the curve. So try to remember that the curve the way this comes out because that might be the way to solve your way going back in but then again who knows all right so here's the back end of that long transmission line out perfect right we got that part of it done we're gonna go around Sorry for the noisy fan, but it's uh, 90 degrees out here with a lot of humidity. All right, so what I did was I, those two lines, I just tilted up out of the way so it doesn't leak on me. This one here, I just wrapped it over the other line. So now we're gonna work on the front. But before I do that, you know what? I'm gonna try to fish the new one in. So all I have to do is hook up the front. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna try the new one and put it through all this mess over here. Hopefully you remembered how it came out, okay? It came out over this rack and pinion line, right? Of course you can't put it under. All right, so we're gonna try to fish it through there. Good luck on this one, huh? All right, let's try it. Two-piece, they don't make it as a two-piece. They should've made it a two-piece. All right, let's try it. All right, here's the uh, part from Dorman. Right, comes with the two hoses. This is when it goes up towards the cooler. That's the one that goes to the side of the radiator, runs across, up over the rear end. And this is the transmission side. Okay, comes with the new gasket made by Dorman. 624994. This is with heavy duty cooling. Okay, heavy duty cooling has the extra long line that goes towards the front by the cooler. If you don't have a cooler in the front, then you do not have heavy duty cooling. All right, so here it is. We are going to attempt to fish this big one in up over the rear end and we'll see what happens. All right, made by Dorman. All right, we're able to fish it in. Uh, definitely, definitely disconnect. Uh, your battery cable okay because you're playing around near the starter and I don't want you guys to while you're moving around the line you hit the positive and you, you break a wire and all that stuff and you short out all right so disconnect the negative side of the battery and I wiggled it in and there it is I secured it in there I ran it through here comes with a new clip so I just pop the old clip out put a new one in even though the clip is upside down so I reversed it put it the other way ran it through there I'm gonna pop in those two clips that hold it there okay the hardest part is getting through the oil pan other than that listen a little patience you're pulling it you got to stick your arm through here through the in the front by the rack and pinion Wiggle it around the two little humps by the oil pan. And the good thing about having a little miniature lift, even though I can't stand under it, I can pop my head up through here, look through here, and see exactly what I'm hitting. All right? So I had to wiggle it around here. So what I did was I just took the, uh, the line towards this way, towards the center, okay? When you go towards the center, there's a little line, a little, uh, Harness over there, you gotta go around. So it goes this way towards the center of the car, and then you can come back around. All right, and that's it here. 
I put it up there. Did that. What else I did here? Oh, I also, you know, take some masking tape, put it on your uh, edges there before you even stick it through, because otherwise you're gonna get dirt and everything in the line, and that'll mess up your transmission too. All right, so I wrap, I wrapped it around here, stuff it in for now. This is gonna go for you upstairs. All right, so this part of it is pretty much done. I'm gonna snap those clips in there, and we're off to the, the front. Well, under the hood probably for this one, but I think this one definitely through the front. And, you know, only poke it through that little tiny hole. So I'm assuming this panel here will come off somehow when the bubble comes off. All right. Here we go. Oh, by the way, you're sweating like a pig. Check this out. The little misting machine. Got it from Lowe's. Hooked up to your uh, garden hose. Got a little fan rolling on me. It's like standing in line in Disneyland, Disney World. All right, you don't get soaked, but you get a little wet. All right, continue on, people. I have a separate video for that misting thing if you want. Okay, let's continue. All right, folks, now we're up to the cooler line, the one that attaches to the radiator. So it's over here in this corner. Best way to get to it is take that humongous air silencer thing, doohickey out. All right, gotta pop this top cover off. Phillips screwdriver over here, I mean a uh, flathead screwdriver takes that clamp, flathead uh, screwdriver takes off this clamp, then there's a little tiny hose that you pop out, this one over here, okay? And then the whole assembly lifts up and out of the way. Now, for the hose itself, okay? I'll show you down here like this. This is the one here. It's a new, it's a new line that we installed. Okay, follow along. This is the old one I just took off. I just let it drip there for a little bit, even though it's still dripping. Okay, it's got a little clamp on it. Ten millimeter bolt. Okay, holds it onto the uh, fan shroud. Okay, and this has a little clip that clips it onto the radiator. Okay, now. I don't have a special tool to do that. There's a little tool, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. Basically, all it is is just like a little C-clip. That's all it is. And remove this little retainer. Okay, there's a little plastic retainer. I'm showing it to you on the top one because it's hard to film the one that's all the way down on the bottom. So, like I said, basically, you are just going to take this little retainer clip off. Take a little small screwdriver or this little little pick, and you want what you want to do is you just want to take that little clip out. See right there? Just grab it in one corner, and you're gonna see it. It looks like a C. All right. So you don't want to bend it and peel it out of the way because it still has to stay in the C shape. So once you peel it, you're able to stick this in it, and you're gonna pull the clip right out. Once you pull the clip out, that piece just slides right out. There is no O-ring on it. It looks like it's flared. So. Once it comes out, you're gonna get some transmission fluid coming out of it. You know, it'll be a little messy, but no problem. Take the other line, which is sitting right there, plug it right back in, take your little clip. Don't try to lose it, because it is a thin clip. Put the clip right around this area over here. You, you see exactly, there's a little slot, and that's where the pieces fall into. When you see the clip, you'll see it. Okay, you'll see what I'm talking about. It'll fall into that little slot, once it clips on and it goes the way they around, give it a nice tug. If you know it ain't coming out, it's not coming out, people. All right, and you take this little retainer clip that comes with the new one. That just holds the line onto that piece over there and it covers the clip so the clip doesn't pop out. So basically, you're just gonna push it on and you hear a click noise and it's on there, okay? That's what you're gonna do to the one all the way down on the bottom. So yeah, it's right above the lower radiator hose. So you really can't get it from the bottom because then the shroud is in the way for the fan. All right, so I did that. And now I'm gonna go and figure out the other one. Okay, the other one is the one that's behind the grill. It'd be nice if I could take the grill out. Don't have to take the bumper out, but we'll see. Some grills are part of the bumper. So that's just the way it is. All right, time for the other one. Oh, don't wanna forget that little clamp. There's a clamp that's on the original one. It's spot welded on. The replacement one comes with 
a clamp, a new bolt, and washers. But I like using the original hardware. So, there it is right there. I'll show you down here. Right there. All right, so this clamp just clamps on. All right, it clips on over here. And you tighten it with a little 10 millimeter, and you're good to go. All right, take it back out. You know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna finish up this front, put this back together before I tackle the other line. All right, in order to get that one last oil cooler line off, the nose has to come out. Okay, the nose has to come out. No ifs, buts, or anything. You can't bend this grill back enough to get to it because I'm gonna show you there's a panel that goes up and over and covers the line. All right, so in order to get this grill off, there's a couple of screws up on top. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, maybe. All right. Maybe six. All right. And then there's two 10 million meter bolts over here, which is you get it through the fender. Two on the other side. You get up through the fender. There's a bunch of little eight millimeters all along the bottom row. Okay. There's a bunch of them down there maybe about eight to ten of them and then pretty much the whole nose just pulls right out so when we get to the nose part of it all right there's a couple of bolts over here and two clips two bolts pop them out bend this back and when you bend this back up on top of the fender you will see the two holes for the bolts for the 10 millimeters okay then the whole thing just slides right out there's a little foam piece to it which slides in here comes right out and this is what you look at okay this is the oil cooler line that comes with that you see how it slots through there and if you look underneath you won't be able to get it through there because you're not going to be able to turn it twist it fish it and come this way with it if you can if you want to you go butcher it get a sawzall on the bottom and just cut this whole freaking thing out and you're going to reach in there through the grill on this way if you want to but the possibility you can't snap the grill or the fascia or the fascia railway the front nose whatever okay after you pull the nose out don't forget your little fog lights over there and then you get to see this okay once you see this then it's one two three four five six six bolts and this retainer here will come right out see the little slot here that I talked to you about okay once you slide this out Oh, and there's two uh, Christmas tree things over here that you got to pop out. That holds the wire harnesses, goes onto the side. Once you pull this out, out of the way, look at that. There's your line. All right, falls perfectly right in there. This would go in here. Same thing with that little funny clip over there. Uh, you know what? I'll try to do it for you. I'll put up my little tripod. Might be a little annoying. Let's see if this way. Nah, I wouldn't be able to go through the other one either. Either way, the other one you have to do it from the top. All right. So I'm going to try to pop this one out. This is just a little retainer clip. Knock that out. And I'll use my little pick to get the little clip out. All right. Let's go for it. All right. Shut the fan off so it won't be so noisy. Like I said. Originally, I put this down there so that when you tuck it under the engine and all that stuff, you uh, you don't get dirt in that line. So that would be very annoying. And put this over the bumper. Also, it's getting dirty, right? So pull this off with my tape. Let me get a uh, a rag because you never know. This little panel, this retainer clip just pops out. There you go. So a little tiny little clip in there. We're gonna try to pull this out. There's a tool, you can buy the tool. Otherwise, you can go this way. Just pull the clip out a little bit. One of these days I'll get the I'll get the tool. Alright. And as you can see, I lost the clip. That's why you need the tool. So here's the clip. That's what it looks like, right? It looks like a little E-clip. All right, it's a little weird. 
place it right there. Hopefully I don't lose it. Now the old line is already poked through the body already. So I just have to take it off this little plastic clip here. Like that. And since that clip is already out, this should pop right out and make a mess. Ready? Here we go. Let's give it a little twist. There he goes. Pull this out from under. There you go. That's that. That's that. Tuck it in there. Where I put all my cardboard under there. I'm gonna wipe this clean a little bit. Wipe this clean. There is no O-ring. So basically, this is just gonna pop right back up. You know, I'm gonna pop it in this clip here for now. That'll hold it there. This is going to pop right in there like that. But you know what? It's annoying with that clip. Let's do it without the clip. So it wants to twist. Okay. There you go. Okay. Once it's in like that, you got to hold it. I had to pull the uh, the line from the other side because, like I said, it wants to twist. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this clip on there. And we're gonna clip it on. It fell into one hole already, but it's gotta go into the other one. No, I missed it, buddy. I'm gonna do it again. Gotta do it again. Try it again. Go this way. I go up. It's gotta go all the way in. There you go. I don't think I had it clipped on because this thing is giving me a little pull. All right. If you can look over there, you can see it's a little past the clip because, of course, maybe it got bent going in and around. That's probably why it's giving me a hard time. So. By pulling on it, we bent it a little bit more. So, like I said, I'm going to put this clip on here now. Just go into the other hole, not this one. Because these things don't clip onto any closest hole that you got there. So, it's got to, it's got to spread wide. And it's got to clip onto it. There you go. Click, click. Got it. I'm going to wipe it down. Get a nice pull tug. It ain't going nowhere. It's got the little retainer here. This just locks this line to that and it keeps the uh, the clip from coming out. Okay, because you don't want that clip coming out. That's for sure. Okay. There you go. That's it. Like I said, the line might have been a little peaked or tweaked at one time when we were going in, but it's alright. I'm going to actually wire tie it here. It's a little bit past this this part. So I bend it, so I mess with it, so I tweak it. Uh, could be just a manufactured thing too, because I noticed that the, the curve, the curve when it's coming down, so it came down earlier, comes out longer. So yeah, this this could be a uh, this could be a defect here with dorm. You know, so I'm not gonna mess with that. It is on a plastic retainer separating from one line to another. Okay, it's leaning on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little wire tie on it. That will hold it, that will support it. It's up out of the way. It's not touching anything else. It's not touching the radiator support. It's not touching the lower radiator support. So I'm gonna tie it up. Up out of the way like this. There you go. Okay. Ain't going nowhere. It's leaning on a piece of plastic. It is separated. I'm gonna get a little brake cleaner. Spray this all up. It doesn't look like there's a leak from uh, me.
What do you think, folks? Job could take all day. So, don't rush it. This is the way it is. All right. So let me show you. Let me pull it back for you. That's the job there. That's the line. Goes underneath. You can see it goes, shoots straight past the engine towards the transmission. Okay. The lines are not rubbing each other. They are separated. It's funny that uh, they don't have that clip that holds the two lines together that causes rotted piece in the first place. I don't think I'm going to put it back because it'll just hold water again. I am just going to leave it off. And that's it. All right, but there's that line. Matter of fact, you know what? Nah, let's take it. Do I want to? Yeah, let's go. Let's take it. Just in my curiosity. I hate to make a mess though. Let's see. Let's hold it this way. Let's see if there's a, the turn is a little. No, can't tell. Can't tell. It's making a mess. There's freaking oil is coming out of there. So. I'd rather try to keep my driveway clean than to, to prove at that point that that curve is a little bit uh, shorter on the original one and the other one's longer. Okay, otherwise, if the curve was a little shorter, like I said, it would have lined up perfectly with that retainer and it would have been good. All right, this is it right now. I'm not going to put anything back because we're going to start it, we're going to run it, and check for leaks. That's what we're doing. All right, so here we go. It's running. Looking for a leak. Believe me, it'll be pissing out right now. Pissing out. It's under uh, transmission front pump pressure. So if it was gonna leak, it will leak. All right, close it down underneath. Over here. Okay, follow the lines. Make sure they're not rubbing each other. All right, like I said. A little longer here, that's why it misses this piece. But I wire tied it and it's leaning on this plastic, it's fine. As for that clip where it rotted, I had to put it back because you know what? This is such a long length that it rattles and they'll, they will hit each other. So I cleaned it up, I put it back together. Follow along, there's a factory clip back there that separated top and bottom. Okay, I've got this doesn't have a fan, so I can stick this up a little higher without getting chopped. All right. Follow along, make sure you didn't cut any wires, didn't mess up anything. Don't forget to connect the battery, otherwise it won't run. Ha, <laughs> forgot about that. All right, now, down over here. You see it follows along, comes out. Dorman gives you a new clip, just gotta flip it. For some reason, it was installed the other way. All right, two lines, they're not rubbing each other. Up to the top. That's where it bolts to the transmission. That is all good. And we are running and we are running fine. So, no more dripping in the driveway over here. So I pulled it in this driveway and made a mess. And of course, like I said, the job itself is a mess. I don't know if you want to do it on the ground, but back in the old days when we have no choice, that's what we did. Jack stands as high as you can and you work your way and you do what you got to do all right but that's it there is enough room just to squeeze in there you're gonna have to just work your way around and get it in there there's no there's no way to tell me how to do it like i said i just had to go this way towards the center of the engine and then come back and then come back this way because it's way too much of a curve the hardest one was this one here with this long curve, this was the one that was hardest to turn. Even though this one going straight, this curve here with the hose is your problem. All right. This one here is not too bad. It's only a little turn. Okay. And that's it. Nothing leaking. Everything's good. Let me tell the other one from up here. Yeah, let's look up here. Okay, that's the other one up there. Okay, nice and dry. Nothing there. Okay. 
All right, so job technically is done. I'm not gonna drag you into putting the front nose back together, and then just that just drags this video out a little longer. But I'll say it real quickly, okay? Uh, two, four, five, six bolts puts this panel right back on there. You grab your nice little fancy nose and you slide it right in there. Once you slide it in there, there's a bunch of bolts down here that hold it together. There is two bolts up here that hold it to each fender, two on this side, two on the other side. Then there's two bolts that hold the splash guard onto the nose, and then there's two clips also. Then on top of the grill, there's another five to six bolts, and then you are good to go. Oh, and plug in your fog lights, okay? You need to plug in your fog lights. Other than that, that's it. Right, these are little things over here, but it's too hot today for me to continue. So I'm gonna have to wait for another day because this is really, really crazy. Hot day, people, hot day. But it's running, no leaks, no drips, big mess. All right, clean up time. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there. The birds are saying thank you too. All right. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Ciao.